So it's July and uh, today we have a break in the heat. It's been like 90 degrees for the last few days. And so I thought I'd be able to get outside and just enjoy nature for a little bit today. Um, and being July, I am gearing up for Amazon Prime Day next week. I'm mostly gearing up for the onslaught of videos that are going to be flooding my feed, my homepage, about tech products that I don't think I need. Um, and, and whenever these days come around, it's really just a reminder of how bad of an affiliate marketer I am. And it's not that I, uh, so let me give you a history about my affiliate marketing as an influencer. Um, I've been on YouTube for like six or seven years now on a variety of different monetized channels. And one of them was sports related. And that's when I became an affiliate marketer because I was buying some, you know, certain products off of Amazon. And, uh, and I realized when you have a sports channel, yeah, being an Amazon affiliate is not in any way, shape or form lucrative. And so after my next go around, I forwent any affiliate marketing. And then on my third time around, I created a tech channel that was specifically designed to incorporate Amazon affiliate marketing and, and other things like that. Because I talked to a whole bunch of, of camera creators and they were like, oh, this is the way that, this is the way you should go. My problem is that I am not a good salesman. I don't like trying to convince people to buy things that they don't need. I have this moral dilemma with regards to promoting products, pushing certain things, um, and all of that stuff. And it's probably why I've struggled on this channel this year with some of the content I create, but I think it's just, I am not, I don't know, I have this naive outlook about how YouTube videos should be altruistic in nature and not self-serving. Now, now, mind you, I do have Amazon links in the description of all of these videos purely because um, I get a lot of questions about what kind of gear I use and it's the easiest way to just list them passively. And then if people want to support, you know, everyone knows how to support Amazon links at this point. So, but for me, it's, it's primarily just to tell everyone what kind of gear I use to make these videos. Um, I don't think I've ever pushed them. In fact, I don't think I've ever said the words Amazon affiliate or affiliate marketing in any video on this channel up to now. So, so a six month record of not talking about it is falls in line with my personal distaste for consumerism and pushing materialistic habits on, on people with disposable income. And I think it's hard because because things have become so cheap, like products have become so cheap these days that it's hard not to be enticed to buy a bunch of stuff at a pretty affordable price, whether that be through Amazon or some of these other online retailers that have cropped up over the last few years. But the reality is you get what you pay for. And if you are not paying a premium for something, in my 
experience, I have never kept any of those things for any amount of time or have had them be functioning for any significant amount of time. And it's part of this kind of disposable lifestyle that, that a lot of people have. Um, I've been trying to, I've been trying to explore minimalism and um, and not buying things. Of course, I did, I did buy, I did buy a microphone to support a creator that I enjoy who had an affiliate link and it will probably show up in in some of these videos later on this year or whenever I receive it um, because it looked like something super fun and that's I think the difference right because there are channels out there that you're going to watch next week that that I watch too that are about typically about YouTube growth and helping you build your YouTube channels but then every so often they throw in tech reviews or camera videos or Amazon Prime Day special videos where they push their affiliate links and I get it if it's part of your marketing strategy but I am much more inclined to support those smaller channels those lesser known content creators by using their affiliate links because I know that that makes a difference for them. Um, and I'd much rather support them in any way that I can over some of these channels that have a million subscribers, two million subscribers. Um, they're able to diversify their income in other ways that some of these smaller channels who rely on affiliate sales can't. So, so yeah, I guess this is more mostly like a support local businesses video, but instead it is support your local or support your small creator video on Amazon Prime Day because because those are the folks that truly appreciate it and it really helps them keep their channels afloat especially if they are pouring a lot of money and resources into making their content without seeing any return on that so yeah Amazon Prime Day if you need something that's the strategy that I'm going to go with this year. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Enjoy the weekend. If I don't talk to you, but I will again see you tomorrow.